A lot of us, I'm including myself in this, have been lying, not just to other people, but to ourselves for a long time. A lot of us have been trained unconsciously and consciously to lie about what's real for us. Very early, and you tell me if you've had this experience, very early I began to hear things like, if you don't have anything good to say, don't say nothing at all. Very early, I learned unconsciously in church that some human emotions were okay, but not all of them. Very early, I learned in school that some human emotions were okay, but not all of them. I wasn't allowed, because I didn't want to shame the family or shame the church to be with, let's say, my dick. What's that thing, huh? What's your, what's your penis or your vagina when you're eight, when you're six? What does that do to a human, a little boy, a little girl whose nervous system is still forming? When you shame them, spank them, and tell them they're wrong, tell them they're sinners, tell them they are uh, broken, born broken. A lot of us have been lying for a long time. We laugh at jokes that aren't funny. We tell people we're fine when we're really not. We say, how you doing, when we really don't give a fuck. All of these are breaches of integrity. And the more we lie to ourselves and others, the less hmm, aligned we are with the truth of who and what we really are, which is absolute, unadulterated, pure love. And love has no boundaries. It does not have a section of the planet or the human experience that is not okay. Hmm. Love is the great fullness of life. Not just half of it, not just part of it, not, not the, you know, sadness being okay, joy being okay, but like, like sexual feelings as a kid? Anger? Was your anger really allowed? Or was it boxed up? Right? Because to the degree that we are uncomfortable with the human experience, that, that touches everything anything and everything and if your parents didn't have the emotional intelligence to allow you to be in your process then very early you took those cues on and began to lie you began to disconnect from your own beingness in order to fit in in order to be loved <laughs> some of you have been lying for so long to yourself and to others that you don't even know it's a lie. You're so disconnected from your body, from the sacred vessel, that you don't even know how deeply disconnected you are. Mm. Mm. In school, we are taught that if we don't learn things in time, in the time they think we should, then we're less than. Then we're not as smart or intelligent as the next kid. 
that has that number next to their name at the point where they should be learning their ABCs or to walk or to X, Y, and Z, whatever the thing is. We measure only two forms of intelligence when there is actually eight. Mathematics and IQ. Reason, what we call logic. What about interpersonal? What about musical? What about these forms of intelligence? The game, the game for all of us is to catch all the places in which we have been disconnected, lying to ourselves and to others, and to begin to create a new <laughs> a new context where people know us and we know ourselves to be in alignment. Not, not every day, all day. Of course, you're going to be out of alignment. Of course, there's opportunities where um, it's not necessarily the right place to... speak your truth right sometimes it is important to withhold but if that becomes the the essence of your being if you're constantly withholding and people pleasing and trying to get it right and trying to be liked by everybody else then you will look up and you won't know who you are mm. I'm gonna say it again if you find yourself constantly people pleasing trying to get it right laughing at stuff that isn't funny saying yes to things that don't let that are a no for you giving your power away to other people you will look up years from now months from now and not know who you really are this is the greatest deception and disrespect to God I have ever seen in myself and others. So I'm in the process of um, remembering my wholeness, remembering the divinity within. A lot of us want to place our power in a external God. <laughs> Woo! I don't know if I want to go down this rabbit hole, but hear me. In my opinion, whatever created all of this mm, mm, never made a mistake. And it cannot separate itself. So it's actually blasphemous for me to lie, not own, not be connected to my truth, not be um, in the mm, in the nowness of what is trying to be birthed through me because sometimes the greatest gift you can give another being is being you whatever that means in that moment there have been plenty of times where somebody has spoken their truth and hurt my feelings and yet that was a gift that was the thing that set me free they taught me in that moment what it means to really be in your power and then I was able to give that <laughs> that gift to somebody else and shift in a moment because moment by moment by moment it's always shifting moving and changing everything on this planet although it seems like it's not moving it's all shifting and changing the question is are you willing to be uh, like uh, you know join that flow or, or are you going up against the flow hmm if you haven't noticed I got a lot on my heart right now and I just been mm, just pouring for the sake of pouring, just saying yes and giving whatever is there for me to give to you, to do with what you want to. I love you all, blessings and blessings. If you ever want to work with me in Stretch 22, which I see a lot of you guys in here, or in Man Cave, go to PrestonSmiles.com forward slash Man Cave forward slash Stretch 22. Blessings and blessings. Love you all.